Alright, this is a review of my Game Boy Micro. Didn't really have any more 3D stuff, 3DS stuff to do as of late, so I decided to pull this out. Um, just do a quick review of it. Um, to start off, I'd like to say, just, you know, before I get into anything, that this is a really handy device to have. Especially since all the new three or all the new DS's that they're coming out with don't have any uh, GBA game slot, um, and just for the fact that it's so tiny and portable. As you can see, I have it on this uh, Thunder Chicken's lanyard, which is a robotics team, um, and in as you can see, it is just absolutely tiny, 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 tiny. Wish I had something to compare it to here. I'll grab this. This is just a normal pencil. And you can just see how big it is. It's not like a DS or anything. Um, and so, normal A, B, D-pad controls. The uh, R and L buttons are longer than what you'd have on a normal you know, Game Boy Advance SP or something because when you're playing this you kinda have to wrap your fingers over it's not something that's big enough where you only have to hit the tips you have to wrap your fingers over that's why you have it also it's a lowercase a and b I thought that was a cool addition um, and you know these three dots these are the holes for the sound which might be a problem you know if you're playing over it but actually it's it's really not as bad of a speaker as it looks like I mean it's a, not a great speaker obviously for being in such a tiny thing but no, regardless it's you know, fairly decent for what it is oh uh, here's the battery in the back right here um, just, you can kind of see how it is in comparison to the GBA game it's just a really tiny system now some people wouldn't don't think that you know this is such a tiny screen like this would be any good and it is it's just just like anything something you your eyes kind of like grow used to over time um and and it is a very bright screen if you wanted to it has a i believe the th dsi has it where if you hit hold down the l button and hit the volume button up it'll change the brightness which is a nice feature the volume buttons are the push type uh star buttons are right here fairly easy to access um, it does have its own type of slot or you know charging port and it's not the same as the Game Boy Advance SP or anything like that it is entirely on its own and so just a quick thing I wanted to boot it up for you and show you it's cool these are backlit the start and select buttons they're both backlit. Right now I have Mega Man in there, uh, Battle Network 3 white version. Just facing Bubble Man, he's a pain in the ass. Uh, but yeah, I, I personally like the lanyard approach. And just because you can have it there, you can put keys on there and you want. And even though there might be you know, not as great as having a DS or anything, none of those games, yeah, it was. Always have to respect the classics, and this is just great for Game Boy Advance games. What I want to do is see if I can uh, grab that pencil I threw back down here a little bit ago. And there's a cool feature. Well, interesting. I'm not sure how useful it is. Where you can pop off that little uh, faceplate, and I'll show you what I mean here if I can get this to work um probably should have thought of this before beforehand type thing uh let's see. see given there we go so this is actually the whole screen and everything is a face plate and when I got it it was I since I bought it off of eBay it was kind of um dirtied up inside and I was able to get in there and clean it up so that's really nice and you can see the speaker it's not as tiny as those three holes made it out to be um, now since these are so old you can't really find any face plates you can probably find the face plates 
but they're going to be more expensive than the actual unit itself, uh, at least from what I've seen. You can get skins and whatnot, but yeah, the best bet is buying this off eBay whenever you see it. Um, I just thought that was a cool thing for cleaning and whatnot. You can, you know, it's pretty solidly in there. Up and down it kind of moves a little bit, but the buttons keep it in place and it locks in there. Um, so when you're playing it's not really big of a deal. Uh, like I said, you, the, you'd get this if you wanted portability, you know, it just can ease and convenience of use. Um, but just try to give you a better look at it right here. It's got this. It does have a little audio port, so if you want to make up for that tiny speaker, you can put in a headphone jack. There's the on and off button. Uh, other than that, not really much. Yeah, this is it's not that great of a review just because there's the lack of um, things on this, which is why you'd get something like it. Uh, so, that's that. I just wanted to make a video of this, show it off a little bit, because it is a cool thing. You can find them fairly inexpensive on eBay, I'd say around... All depending on what you'd shell out for them, 30 to 40 dollars, somewhere around there. I don't know, the prices might have changed since I got mine. But yeah, it's just so you can, I don't know, keep it on a lanyard, keychain, whatever you want. It's really convenient. I just normally keep one game in there at a time until I'm done. It's just easy to be, oh, well, I get a few minutes here, just turn, turn this on and start playing the game. So, that's all I wanted to do. Uh, thank you for watching. Any feedback at all, tell me what you think at all. I'm just, I would love to take two seconds and type a few words if it sucked or if it was decent in the comments. I would love that. Um, please subscribe. I got a lot more videos coming. I think I'm actually working on a walkthrough as we speak. <laughs> I can look over to the right and see my uh, computer converting a video. And hopefully that'll be a little bit more lively than this. It'll be my very first walkthrough. Um, so thank you for everything and uh, stay tuned.